Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for, Apache Cassandra. So, let's get started. Question number 1, what is Apache Cassandra? The answer is, Cassandra is an open source data storage system for inbox search, developed at Facebook and it's designed for storing and managing large amounts of data across commodity servers. It can serve as both real-time data store system for online applications, and also for a business intelligence system as a read-intensive database. Question number two, what is the use of Cassandra? The answer is, Cassandra can handle structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data, giving users flexibility with data storage. Cassandra uses multiple data centers, which allows for easy data distribution wherever or whenever needed. Question number three, why are composite keys used? The answer is, a composite key is a combination of two or more columns in a table that can be used to uniquely identify each row in the table when the columns are combined uniqueness is guaranteed, but when it is taken individually it does not guarantee uniqueness. Question number 4, how Cassandra stores data? The answer is, all data stored as bytes. Cassandra ensures those bytes are encoded as per requirement when you specify validators. Then a collation orders the column based on the ordering specific to the encoding while a particular encoding composite is just byte arrays. For each component, it stores a 2-byte length followed by the byte encoded component followed by a termination bit. Question number 5, what is the main components of the Cassandra data model? The answer is, the main components of the Cassandra data model are Tables Key spaces Columns Question number 6 what is a column family in Cassandra? The answer is, a collection of rows in Cassandra are referred to as a column family. Question number 7, explain what is a cluster in Cassandra? The answer is, a cluster is a container for key spaces. Cassandra database is distributed over several machines that function together. The cluster is the outermost container that manages the nodes in a ring format and assigns data to them. These nodes have a replica that takes charge in case of failure of data handling. Question number 8, what are the key components of Cassandra? The answer is, the key components of Cassandra are as follows. Node. Data center. Cluster. Commit log. Mem table. SS table. Bloom filter. Question number 9, what is a key space in Cassandra? The answer is, a key space is a namespace determining the data replication on nodes. A cluster consists of one key space per node. Question number 10. What are the functions of Cassandra? The answer is, this database supports two main categories of functions. Scalar functions. Its primary purpose is to take some groups of values and producing an output with them. Aggregate functions. Its primary function is producing a combined result using selected multiple rows. Question number 11. Mention the values that are stored in the Cassandra column. The answer is, in Cassandra column, basically, there are three values. Column name. Value. Timestamp. Question number 12. Mention when you can use alter key space? The answer is, to change properties such as the number of replicas and the durable rights of a key space, alter key space can be used. Question number 13. What is the purpose of CQLSH? The answer is, Cassandra CQLSH is a defined query language that enables users to communicate with its database. The purpose of using it is to define a schema. Insert data. Execute a query. Question number 14. How Cassandra writes changed data into the commit log? The answer is, Cassandra concatenate changed data to commit log. Commit log acts as a crash recovery log for data. Until the changed data is concatenated to commit log write operation will be never considered successful. Data will not be lost once the commit log is flushed out to file. Question number 15. How Cassandra delete data? The answer is, SS tables are permanent and cannot remove a row from SS tables. Cassandra assigns the column value with a special value called tombstone when a row needs to be deleted. Therefore, when the data is read, the tombstone value is considered deleted. Question number 16. What is the usage of the void close method? The answer is, to close the current session instance, the void close method is used. Question number 17. Name the types of key space in Cassandra? The answer is, Cassandra key space contains three types of operations which go as follows. Create key space. Alter key space. 
Drop key space. Question number 18. What are the objectives of NoSQL? The answer is, the primary objectives of NoSQL database are to have the simplicity of design, more exceptional control over availability and horizontal scaling. Question number 19. Does Cassandra work on Windows? The answer is, yes, it's compatible with Windows and works pretty well. Now its Linux and Windows compatible versions are available too. Question number 20. What is Kundera and Cassandra? The answer is, Kundera is an object relational mapping, ORM, implementation, in Cassandra which is written using Java annotations. Question number 21. What do you understand by thrift in Cassandra? The answer is, thrift is the name of the RPC client which is utilized to communicate with the Cassandra server. Question number 22. What is Hector and Cassandra? The answer is, Hector was one of the early Cassandra clients. It is an open source project using the MIT license written in Java. Question number 23. State some of the features of Apache Cassandra. The answer is, some of the features of Apache Cassandra. High scalability. High fault tolerant. Flexible data storage. Easy data distribution. Tunable consistency. Efficient wire. Cassandra query language. Question number 24. How would you define NoSQL database? The answer is NoSQL database is a database that deals with the non relational database. It is also known as a not only SQL database. NoSQL database provides a mechanism to store and retrieve the different types of data that includes images, sounds, and more. Question number 25 What are the primary features of any NoSQL database? The answer is some of the primary features of any NoSQL database are Schema agnostic, auto sharding and elasticity, highly distributable, easily scalable, integrated caching. Question number 26 Which query language is used in Cassandra database? The answer is Cassandra query language is used for Cassandra database. Cassandra query language is an interface that a user uses to access the database and is basically a communication medium, such that all the operations are carried out from this panel. Question number 27. What is the primary objective of creating Cassandra? The answer is. The primary objective of creating Cassandra is to handle a large amount of data. Also, the objective ensures fault tolerance with a swift transfer of data. Question number 28. What do you understand by a document store database? The answer is. The data record is the JSON or XML representation of key value pairs such that every record can have a different set of fields. Document databases are similar to key value pairs, but the only difference is that the key is associated with a document. Question number 29. What are the general operations of Cassandra CQL? The answer is, there are two types of operations carried by Cassandra. Read operation and write operation. Question number 30. How do you define as a YAML file in Cassandra? The answer is. Cassandra YAML file is the main configuration file for Cassandra. Therefore after changing properties in the Cassandra.yaml file, we must restart the node for the changes to take effect. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.